Hi, this is Paco. I'm going to start a movement. I call it the 25 and 24. Now, it's not a movement that's going to change the world, but what it will do is it will uh, get you away from your computers, allow you to have some fun, and it will create some good memories. So what is the 25 and 24? There are like four basic rules, and that's all you really need to do to get started. Rule number one, you have to get 25 of something done within 24 consecutive hours. It doesn't matter what time you start, as long as you end at the same time the next day. So, for example, if you start at 12 o'clock noon on Friday, you have until 12 o'clock noon on Saturday to finish. Rule two is that it should be something that's challenging, otherwise it's no fun. So, for example, if your goal is to tie your shoes 25 times 24 hours, it's probably not going to be that difficult. But if your goal is to teach 25 preschoolers to tie their shoes in 24 hours, you might have your, your work cut out for you. Um, it should be something that should take, you know, the entire day. What exactly that means is up to you, but it should be something that takes a while. Rule three, three, blah, 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 blah. Rule three is you should document your, your adventure. Uh, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, does it make a noise? Hmm. Similarly, if you wrestle 25 alligators in 24 hours and you don't have any pictures or any evidence of that you did it, is it awesome? I don't know. So, I don't care how you document it, you know, uh, make a blog post about it, uh, do video, do photographs, whatever you want to do, just something so you have something to share with people. Rule four is you should be creating your own set of guidelines for your specific event. So let's say that you want to eat 25 Big Macs in 24 hours. Great. Kind of disgusting, but great. you got to figure out some other guidelines before you start. So, for example, eat 25 Big Macs. Do you have to eat all the toppings that come with it? Do you order them all at once so they get cold throughout the day, or do you order them one at a time as you finish? If you do order them one at a time, do you have to order them from the same McDonald's, or do you have to find different McDonald's uh, as part of the event? All these will change the event slightly, and how hard it is to complete. So figure out what you want to follow, what rules you want to follow for your specific event before you begin. It just makes it a little bit better, because then you, don't, you aren't tempted to cheat throughout the thing. Well, that's all there is to it. Um, come up with your own ideas and, and go out and start having fun. To give you some inspiration, I am creating a one that that that. And to give you some inspiration, I've done this already once with my brothers. We did 25 pizzas in 24 hours. So check out the trailer for it right now. <laughs> Six fourteen, and that is twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five.